Um, in talking about pick technique, which is the first thing we're going to talk about, um, I've seen a myriad of styles. I've seen people who pick in ways that would be very painful to me, and they are amazing players. And so there's very little in the way of a virtuoso tradition when it comes to holding a pick. Uh, I'm going to offer you some suggestions. Hopefully you'll find them uh, helpful. Um, the first thing I would suggest is is holding the pick as if you were holding a key, as you would if you were about to open the key to your house, front door to your house with a key, and uh, you would sort of choke up on the key and hold most of the key in your hand, and it would be more of a twisting movement. For the most part, uh, if you use that as your sort of foundational guide, um, you shouldn't wind up with any injuries. But... So it's more of a uh, choke up on the pick as much as possible and more of sort of a twisting, most of the motion coming sort of from your wrist area versus your hand area or even your fingers, you know. Um, so for the most part when you're using a pick and you may choose any number of, uh, of picks that are out there uh, that are available, I choose uh, some pretty heavy picks and they're sort of very thick and they're actually made out of I think this is a bone of some kind anyway um, the pick determines a lot of times what kind of tone you wind up with so you may want to spend some time experimenting with different types of picks and finding one that you think creates the kind of voice for you on guitar whether you're playing acoustic or electric. There are a couple of different ways to use a pick.